tonight we came with uh, tripartite forces that guarantees result in the kingdom all the time. And it is, it, it, it is born out of the uh, encounter, or it was born out of encounter that um, I, 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 I had earlier today. I pray that the forces of hell that will not allow you to continue in this race, I say that forces of hell is removed from you in the mighty name of Jesus. I say it is removed tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So tonight we said tripartite forces. We want to deal with the, 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 the tripartite forces that guarantees result all the time. You know, it is not offering, it is not uh, fasting. It is not prayers, but prayer is everything, don't get me wrong. But we came with this one tonight, light, associations, and graces. Light, association, and graces. We said these are the factors that govern results in the kingdom of God. The light is a depth, is a depth of the spiritual illumination that you have. And it pertains to the areas that, that, um, that, that you operate to. The Bible said that you are the light of the world, you are the salt of the earth, and you are a city set upon the hill that cannot be hidden. You know, some of us are the light, yet, you know, we are hidden somewhere. He said, who, we, who, who which among you we own a light, and we'll go and put it under the bushel. you go and put it under your bed. How can that light? How can that light shine all the health in on the planet Earth? I pray today that our light will keep shining in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, I think if you are beside the TV or something, you can walk away. There is a background noise coming from somewhere. I think you can walk away so that we, we get to enjoy and, 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 and enjoy the presence of God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray tonight. Amen. Then we also talk about association. You remember what happened in Genesis 12 4. Association. Lot was blessed because he decided to roll with Abraham. He said, So Abraham went as the Lord has told him, and Lot also went with him. God did not speak to Lot. God did not command Lot. I mean, he didn't speak to Lot in any way. But Lot said, since Abraham is going, let me flow with him. Let me roll with him. And because of that, the blessings too were transferred to him. You know? And don't forget that Abraham was about 75 years old that time. Lot did not, Lot did not uh, because of his age, he didn't get discouraged. He said, I will still roll with this man so that some kind of blessings will be transferred to me. And the last part of our prayer tonight we centered around grace. There are some people that the grace of God has rested upon them. You just need to flow in that dimension and, and, and tap into the grace upon their life so that your own result will be seamless. So we want to pray about grace. We want to pray about association, and we want to pray about the light that we carry tonight. And as we set the scripture tonight, I pray that our eyes of understanding would be opened in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, one songwriter I said, I cannot call out your name and end up in shame. Meaning that I cannot keep rolling with you. How can I be, how can I be in your kingdom? I'm associating with you. I'm rolling with you day by day. And I will end up in shame. Is there no way? Is that it doesn't bring dignity to serve you first and end up bowing down for idols. It does not bring dignity. When you were the first person I know, and later in my life I end up bowing down for idols, like 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 that king in the Bible. You know, who knew God first? And later on, bow down to the idols of his father. Marco Pasute Yelikada Bralea. Rekoska. 
I think uh, sister sister Oluchi, I think it's your it's your mic that is making noise. Maybe something from somewhere is uh, coming into yes, it. Yes, I'm in I'm in outside. I'm outside. Okay, in a, no wonder. In oh, okay, no, no wonder. I'm sorry. No, no, no problem, no problem, no problem. Yakos kaprale kado basata, rendo keska. So tonight you are praying this prayer. Oh, that thou wouldest occupy my life in this kingdom with testament of results. Oh, that thou wouldest occupy my life in this your kingdom with testament of result. Full of deep revelations. Full of honor. Honored with right association. And clothe me with graces. In the mighty name of Jesus. That is the prayer. You are telling God, occupy my life with testament of result. That is full of deep revelation. Occupy my life with testament of results that is honored with right association. Occupy my life with testament of results that is clothed with graces. So that when people see my life, they will see a product of right association. They will see a product of grace. They will also see a product of a life that is clothed with honor. Therefore, Lord, tonight... That thou wouldest occupy my life in this kingdom with testament of results, full of deep revelations, talking about light, honored with association, talking about company, and clothed with grace, talking about divine favor. Lord, tonight, let this three dimensional progress be seen in my life. Let these three tripartite forces that guarantees results all the time. Let them be noticeable in my life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now, tonight, I just discovered that we shouldn't blame people when you see them serving God first and later on bowing down to idols. Some factors are just responsible for it. It is because that life does not know what it is to associate with people. You know, sometimes when you pray and pray and pray and there is no result, you wouldn't know that there are other things that prayer leads you into. Prayer should lead you into a, a season of grace. It should lead you into a season of association. Look at Lot. Lot moved with Abraham. And because of that, he also became a prospered, he also, he was also pro, he, he became a prospered person. You understand what I mean? Your association should influence you, but you have to pray into entering into right association. Are you getting me tonight? Mm -hmm. why, why do you think people enter into a bony? It, be, it is because of association of influence. You cannot enter into some cabinet in some gubernatorial, I mean, some gubernatorial state. I mean, you, ca you cannot become a governor in a certain area. If you don't enter into a particular, you know, uh, 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 all courts that they serve. Because they need you to be there so that you can also be part of that sphere of influence. You are telling God, now that I've associated with you, people have seen me in you. I am part of the influence of the kingdom. It must rub off on my body. Oh, that thou wouldest occupy my life in this kingdom with a testament of results. Full of deep revelation, honor with right association, and clothed with grace. Oh, that thou occupy my life in this kingdom. Oh, that thou occupy my life in this your kingdom. This kingdom that you have established, occupy my life with it. The prayer points are there. Prayer point number one. Oh, that thou occupy my life in this your kingdom with testament of results. I have written exam over and over again. I have prayed and prayed over again. Lord, but there is no testament of results. There is no deep revelation. I do not have the right association. I am not clothed with grace. I am not clothed with honor. But tonight, I want to pray them down into my life. Lord, let there be testament of results. It is not only to pray and pray. It must be reflected in my business. It must show in my endeavor. Lord, clothe me with graces, Lord. Graces. Graces. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.
I have come to realize that the ways of the evil are so enticing. Because when you enter into an Abali shrine, the man just say one or two things and you will see one goat, it will appear from nowhere. How would you not believe the man when the man stretched forth his hand into the atmosphere and gone came from somewhere? Invisible people brought out gone for him. How will you not believe the man? You know, because the association that you keep, the result that you see, seems to be the things that you believe. You know, the result that people see seems to be the result, seems to be the things that they believe. I pray tonight that your life will begin to show results so that you too can know you are keeping the right association of sphere of influence. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. See, don't blame people when you see them entering into court. I, 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 I had of a case today. A man of God was praying for a woman. The woman brought the son to the man of God. He said, man of God, please pray for my son. And as they were praying, God opened the eyes of the man of God. And he said, madam, why, what have you done to this, your son? And the woman said, it means that you, you, this man of God, you are seen. Then the woman said, ask my son to excuse us. The son now excuse. It was the same woman that brought the son to the man of God to be prayed for. And he's the same one telling the man of God to say, tell this my son to excuse. He said, man of God, don't let me deceive you. I went into a witchcraft because of him. Now is the time for me to use him as ransom. We have eaten his liver. We have eaten his kidney in the realm of the spirit. As you are seeing him, is an empty person. You know, that is what spheres of influence can do to people. They will give you with right hand and they will take you with left hand. But if you are in the right association like Abraham, if you are in the right association that we have tonight, praying in the midnight, you know, it may look like it's boring to you. It may look like it's not yielding results yet. It may look too simple because they didn't ask you to bring gold. They didn't ask you to bring white clothes. It's looking too, it's looking too real to be truth. But I believe and I pray tonight, as you are diligent in this your prayer adventure, I pray that God will begin to influence your, your association for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, tonight we cannot call your name and end up in shame. It doesn't bring dignity to you to serve you first and end up bowing down to idols. If we serve you and we don't have results, there is every likelihood that some of us will be enticed to go into the idols of our Father. Lord, the ways of evil seems enticing. Help our life, O oh Lord, so that we do not fall into the old trick of the enemy. Tonight, we raise up our voice. Oh, that thou wouldest occupy our life with results. Oh, that there would that occupy our life with testament of results. Ah. Full of deep revelations. Unknown with right association, Lord. And clothed with high level of grace. Open your mouth and pray since you now understand that prayer. Say, oh, that thou would that occupy my life with this testament of results. Ah. Testament of results of deep revelations. Ah. Testament of results that is unknown with grace, with right association. I cannot call your name and end up in shame. Lord, occupy my life. Reto palikada, rende kosi palikada, le kos ele kata palikete, le kos alembari kala toke palia, rende gede. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I mean, it, it, this one that I want, this one, God didn't show this one to me. I just know this one. You know, I know that some of us we have been praying and praying, and now you have been enticed to consulting another thing. I know that because your life is not, you've not seen the results yet. Then your friend is now telling you, let's go to that Baba. He's just a goat you are going to kill, and your life, will, will, something will pick up in your life. I mean, 
I have not seen visions, but I know that this is what is happening around. These killings that you have seen, they are not ordinary. People are looking for blood to use. People are looking for human parts to be sacrificed. That is why you see all these killings. They, are, they may look ordinary to you. They are not ordinary. You are praying because you want your life to be full of results. Result is a living proof. Result has a way of making you happy. You walk and you see results. You don't need to go to hospital again. Because that result is a testament that God is with you. Lord, tonight I pray on behalf of your people. We have covenanted to give you one year of sleeplessness. Lord, this is just the fourth month and we are getting worried. This is not month fourth and we are tired. Because we have prayed, we have prayed, only few of us have seen results. But your, your word said that everybody that come unto you, you shall know wise cast away. And here we are, Lord, we are, we are presenting everybody, all the 200, 158 people on the prayer chain. We are presenting them unto you, Lord. It doesn't bring dignity to you if they bow down to you in January and they end up going to the idols of their father in March. Lord, if they have waited in January and February and there is no result, associate that they keep, their friends may entice them to go and meet one herbalist. And Lord, on this prayer chain, we don't want that to happen. Therefore, we are putting our feet on the ground tonight. Oh, that thou wouldest occupy my life with this kingdom testament of results. Oh, that thou wouldest occupy our life with deep revelations. Honor us with the right association, Lord. And clothe us with the graces in this kingdom. Where are the graces available in this kingdom? Where are the right association like Abraham, like Elijah, like Elisha, like Paul, like Peter? Where are the right association that can bring dignity to people? Lord, where are the right association, Lord, that can bring honor? Lord, where are these strapatite forces? Oh, that thou wouldest occupy our life. Oh, that thou wouldest occupy our life in this kingdom. With testament of results. Full of deep revelation. Honored with the right association. And clothed with the graces. Grace is required to move forward. I cannot call your name first and end up bowing down in shame. I cannot call your name first and end up bowing down in shame. This news flying around. People are using blood for sacrifice. People are using human parts for sacrifice. All in an attempt to make money. But Lord, what will be my gain? After calling your name and end up joining them, what will be my benefit? After raising my voice to you and I end up consulting the oracles of my father, what will be my gain? Heavenly Father, oh, that thou wouldest occupy my life in this kingdom with testament of result, full of deep revelations, honored with right association. And clothe me with grace. Clothe me with grace. Ma kori kata pali kada pasite. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people that you see joining Ogboni, you you won't blame them. It is because they have not seen results in this one that they have. And somebody had told them that if you join this other one, you will see results. You will see spheres of influence. Your son will get job easily. Your daughter will gain admission to university easily. And they tried it once, and suddenly their daughter started getting admission. Their son started getting the job in oil and gas. And they, to now convince them back to come to, the, to, to, the, to Christianity will not be a problem. You know, I'm sharing these things that are very deep with you tonight because of what God showed to me. 
I decree and declare that that thing that will make you to serve God first, and you will now end up bowing down to the idols of your father. Tonight, let that thing not come your way at all. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You say, Father, Father, we have entered into a covenant of redemption with you tonight. Father, we have entered into a covenant of redemption using the blood of your son. Baptize my life with spheres of influence too. Baptize my life with spheres of influence too, O Lord. They say likes begat likes. They say lion give birth to lion. They say God give birth to God. Now that I have been baptized with the blood of Jesus, Lord, baptize my life with spheres of influence. Baptize my life with spheres of influence. I don't want to go back to the idols of my father. I don't want to go back to the idols of my father. Those ones, they are demanding for blood of human beings. They are demanding for human parts. Lord, baptize my life with spheres of influence. Lord, baptize my life with spheres of influence. Red Takapa. Was it not lost that rode with Abraham and his life was never the same? His life never remained the same. Was it not Elisha that rode with Elijah and his life never remained the same? The twelve disciples rode with you and their life never remained the same. Lord, where are the spheres of influence? Baptize my life with spheres of influence, Lord. So that my life will not remain the same. Bali Kete. In Jesus' name we pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I, I hope you begin to understand when I started by saying that the prayer that we pray must lead us into something deep. Whenever you pray, it must lead you into understanding what to do. There is what they call spheres of influence. There is what they call association. People don't just, people don't just uh, join witchcraft for, for, for joining sake. It is because they are promised that they will give them something. Don't worry, just join us. We will give your son a job. You will just do little things. Don't worry. The Oboni will say, don't worry, just join us. We will just give you one human path to eat. And we will bring you into our spheres of influence. You can become governor in two days. You can become senator in one month. And they will try it and they, start, and they will start seeing results. And now asking them to come back to use the name of Jesus to pray, it will be like, no, it is not that easy. You must bring human blood. You must bring human parts. So all these killings that you are seeing around, don't think that they are ordinary. I, do, I wonder why believers are so deceived and that we will not just face reality. You think killings, all these killings are ordinary? Go back and check. After a while, they will not see the parts of the human body again there. After burying them, they, they don't see their tongues again. They don't see their human parts again. So it tells me that these killings that you have seen everywhere, everywhere all over the nations, they are not ordinary. They, are, they belong to some group of people that, are, that want to control some influence. They want to renew some power. It is called renewable energy. But tonight, you know, God is indoctrinating you into another sphere. The 12 disciples, the 12 disciples, they were indoctrinated into a sphere of influence. And their life never remained the same. Lord rode with Abraham, and it was God. It was it was Abraham that God called. It wasn't Lot, but Lot said, "Let me roll with you too," and the blessing rubbed off on him. Look at Elisha. Elisha said, "No, I have to roll with this man," and the blessing of Elijah too rubbed off with him, rubbed off on him, so to say. You are also praying tonight. I cannot serve you, and this your blessing will not rub off on me. Baptize my life with spheres of influence. And they say like begat like. 
They said lion must give birth to a lion. But that's my life with spheres of influence tonight. That my life will begin to have evidence that there will be proof of results. Not only anointing in the church, my anointing is not only to heal the sick, to raise the dead. My anointing too is to generate money, is to generate resources, is to generate space of influence, so that I will not go back to the idols of my father, so that my leg will not be one in and one leg one out. Lord, baptize my life with space of influence. Baptize my life with space of influence, O Lord. Yale ko palikata, rekte ko si pelikata, rende ko palikata. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Unfortunately, we want miracles, but we don't want to pay the price. You know, some of us pray this. Some of us join this prayer chain in January, and before the end of January, they faded away. It is not because they want to fade. Don't get me wrong. It is because the required energy they need to push through. Devil took it away from them. So devil told them that instead of you wasting your time to wake up in the midnight, why not just go and give that abalis a, ga- a gallon of palm oil? And your answer will be, and you will see results. And truly, when you just go there, give them just one goat. They will just e- e- conjure one or two things, and you will start seeing some things. But meanwhile, you and I know that it will not last. You, are, you and I know that devil gives you with one hand, it takes with two hands. But you see, let me not, let me not deceive you, my, 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 my daddies and my mommy. When a life is under an immense attack, when they ask that person to go and kill his mother for the attack to go, he will not hesitate to do so. Why do, you think a, why do you think a man can be bold enough to slaughter his mother? Because, he just, he was just, because they have told him, kill your mother and you will come out of this danger. You will come out of this poverty for life. Mm-hmm. You know, things don't just happen. I don't, we should not deceive ourselves and be thinking that, no, things are, it, is, it is normal. There is nothing that is normal. You have to stand mm-hmm. on the ground and correct things for things to start working for you. And that is why I can make bold to tell you that if you are committed to this one year prayer service, this one year prayer covenant, mm. what you are doing, it may be tough. Mm. But what you are doing is that you are correcting the foundational issues in your family. Mm. Uh, those issues didn't just get there in a day. Why do, you, why do you think they will come out in a day? God will test you to see if you are diligent enough. Something that got there in 1894. You want to correct it just in one day? No. He's saying that be diligent, be faithful for this one year. It's just 30 minutes. He said, I'm going to correct every foundational issues. And do you know what? A lot of us have started seeing results. Just within four months. Just within four months. January, February, and March, April. And people, are, we have seen, we have seen results. We've seen, we've seen lame. We've seen somebody that was paralyzed walking again. We've seen, we've seen barren giving. We've seen seven, uh, eight years pre- uh, uh, marriage. Uh, uh, God blessing them with fruit of womb. A lot of testimonies. We, we've seen, we, we've seen somebody that has been possessed with spirit of madness being healed. You know what? What are we talking about? Within just four months. Imagine if we are diligent enough to add another eight months to it. We will see death coming back to life. I'm telling you, God told me at the beginning of the year, go and check our prophecy on YouTube. He said, this year, I'm going to bring back a dead person to life. You know? Please, uh, go to this prayer point number two. If you, I mean, I'll, I'll just rush it up. Our time has gone. Sec- First Chronicles 29, 12 said, I want to bear fruit that will abide. This emptiness is a proof that I do not understand the laws governing my life. You know, you want to tell God that, Lord, I, I, I want to be sincere with you. This emptiness that I'm experiencing, 
is a proof that I do not understand the laws governing my life. Therefore, Heavenly Father, crown my life with wealth and honor. You are the rulers of all things. In your hand lies strength and power to exalt, to give strength to all. Give me strength. I still have eight months adventure with you. Give me strength to push through, oh Lord. I want to begin to bear fruit and I want my fruit to abide. Give me strength. It is just eight months. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. A testament of result that will make you stand before kings. You know, before now, you are the one going to them for help. But when there is a testament of result, you will be in your house and they will be knocking at your door that please, we need your service. Yakupa lika sufrele kanda gada bashata. You know, tonight prayer is more or less like we're encouraging ourselves. You know, I don't want you to have one leg in and one leg out. Because the waves, the waves, the waves of life can sweep anybody down at any time. But if you belong into this association of prayer team, this grace should rub off on you at least. This grace should, I mean, by now this honor should rub off on you. So we are committing, we want, we want to tell God that we still have eight months to go. This is just April. We are still going to December. We are not even 50% achievement. In the realm of the spirit, we are about maybe 20-30% achievement. So this is not the time to give up, I'm telling you. Lord, this emptiness is a proof that I do not understand the Lord's governing my life. Therefore, tonight, begin to make me understand these spiritual laws. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Say with me, say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. This emptiness. My present state. It is a proof that I do not yet understand the laws governing the outcome of my life. Tonight, Heavenly Father, plant my feet upon the rock. Let my life begin to bear fruit that will abide. I don't want a result that will give me one leg in and one leg out. I don't want a result that will make me to serve you today and I will go back to Ida tomorrow. I don't want a result that will make me serve you today and I will be looking for a village helper. Heavenly Father, these things are happening. We are seeing it every day. We are seeing it day by day. Lord, Lord, let there be a tripartite forces that will guarantee results in this kingdom. That will guarantee results. I want light, deep revelation. I want the right association, this prayer team. I want the grace that exists in your kingdom. The grace that you gave to your people. Let it begin to rub off on me. Let it begin to rub off on me, Lord. Let it begin to rub off on me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please, please, I want to beg you. I want to beg you. This season, a lot of deceit will be happening. You will see a lot of fake prophecy, a lot of fake prophet. You will see some people that they will even tell you what you heard yesterday. They will even tell you the clothes that you wore. And if you are not strong in the realm of the spirit, you may be tempted to believe in them. But I tell you, I was, I think it happened to me sometimes ago. I was walking and somebody told me my name in the market. I now asked the person to stay. I said, you too, stay. I said, God, tell me something about this person too. I said, you too. I now told the person, I said, you are this, you are that, you are that. Like a forensic prophecy. I gave the person everything about, and he looked at me. I said, I know, I, I said, I know your type when I see them. 
I know that somebody come in my former office. He said I should come and I should come and bring uh, something for banana. They want to go and give. I I started speaking the tongue on him. I said Fraleko Pali Kaso Fralea. He cut off the phone. Let me tell you, a lot of deceit are going on. They will ask you to bring cattle, bring this, bring that. Now, because they are asking you to bring that, it, and it's in, a, it's in alignment with our tradition in Africa, you know, you may be tempted to think that that's the way. But I tell you tonight, if you can just be faithful to this prayer chain, if you can just be faithful to knowing that it is only God that you need to serve and you need to ask Him, He would answer everybody. You know, if, if He could answer eight years barrenness, if, if he could heal a madman under this prayer chain, if he could restore op the, 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 the hopeless case and give them hope in families, your own will not be a big deal for him. This is the person that has a cattle upon a thousand heel. Money is not his problem. This is a person that called for the dead out of the grave. There is nothing that is dead in your body that you cannot call forth. So, by this prayer tonight, I want to beg you, do not go into anything else. If you mix anything else with what we do here, I will not pick your call again. I'm telling you, if God showed it to me that you have mixed something else, I will call you and say, you know what, it appears we have to part ways. But if you are diligent on this call, I have a good news for you. As we engage God together, this year can never go without God meeting you at the point of your need. Uh, you, you have heard a lot of testimonies. Your home will not be an exemption. In the mighty name of Jesus. You know, last year, a lady came to me during that coronavirus. You know, during that coronavirus, everybody became so spiritual. Everybody became so spiritual. Everybody. everybody. You know, people were even the one calling, man, man of God, let us pray, let us pray. But immediately, coronavirus subsided. Everybody went back again to their, to their normal self. You know, don't let us get to that point whereby it is when we are faced with danger that we know God. We shouldn't turn God into a consultant. God is a father. He is not a consultant. He's always there for you. I told this lady, he, she came to me, she said she needed husband. After we prayed, I said, you know what? It is not us bad you need. God said he is taking you to a foreign land before the end of December. She didn't believe. But December 27th on the dot, she called me from Turkey that she is in Turkey. I said, I said but I told you in January that this year will not go, you know, without God answering you. Therefore, for those of us that are diligent, that will be faithful, that will make a covenant of midnight hour with God. I pray that one by one, that this April will not go without meeting you at the point of your name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, that sister looking for the fruit of the womb. If you are on the prayer chain, please, after we, after we round up tonight, just chat me up. Let's, start, let's begin seven days adventure, you know. Because I wonder if you can be diligent for seven days. You know, you know, I'm saying it in front of everybody now, and it's going live, you know. It's going live on, on YouTube. I'm saying it that if you are diligent for these seven days, before the month of September, we are going to share your testimony here too. In the mighty name of Jesus. Please let our amen stand for this auntie. Amen. Amen. Please, eh, let's log on to Apostle Prayer Chain on YouTube tomorrow. The prayers have been hosted. And if you have not done your prayer on altar, I know, you know why I've been saying this altar? It is very important. If you have not done your prayer on altar, God said 2 a.m. Everybody should do that prayer. Please go and do that prayer so that family altars will be, will be canceled. Altars that are against your progress will be canceled. Therefore, tonight, as we go, as we share the grace, Heavenly Father, every life that is empty, every life that doesn't have a result to show, Every life that doesn't have grace, that doesn't have right association, that is bereaved of honor. As we round up the prayer tonight, may you begin to crown them with honor, with grace, with favor, in the name of Jesus.
Amen. That affliction that will make you to serve God in January but end up going to the idols of your father in February. May that affliction not come your way again. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Even when they are bold enough to stand against you, may they be crushed down at the word of your mouth. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every agent of darkness that will come across your way, they will, that will use sweet words to entice you, that will use fake prophecy to bring you down, that may likely use the name of your mother to convince you, I pray tonight, let such angel or a- agents of, of, of doom, let them meet with their Waterloo too. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, everlasting Father, for saving us from shame. Thank you for saving us from reproach and from ignominy. Let your name be glorified. Yes, sorry. Tonight, tonight's session stands like a rebuke, like a rebuke. Please, I want you to just take it. I want you to just take it like that. You know, I mean, when God is talking to us like that, it's 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 prophetically. You know, because I can see that a lot of us on the prayer chain, we are one leg in and one leg out. You know, but Bible saying that we should not go back to the idols of our father. You know, please, I beg you, let's stay, let's stay diligent to this thing. If you see anything at all that bothers you, you know, I may call away. Just call me. Don't go back to any idol. Don't go back to any occult. It doesn't befit you. It doesn't honor God in your life that you will serve him in January and you now go back to the idols of the Father in February. It doesn't honor God. Thank you, everlasting Father. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Please, Auntie, please chat up with me. Let's, ra- let, let's quickly kid it. Let's break the yoke of barrenness.